guys and welcome to top channel 11. today we're going to be looking at ICT which I think is the most detailed city generator I've ever seen and this is coming from someone who has made two city generators myself and this is just at a different level the level of control and uh, detail you're getting so we're going to jump in and uh, just look at how you can use it but you can get it on blender market and since Blender market is already running a uh, spring sales discount you can get it at a discounted price as well so let's jump in and see how this works so after downloading the add-on you can go under edit preferences and install it like any other add-on just search for ICT or it will likely be the first in the list here so it's ICT just enable that and uh, that's all you have to enable and then you can find it in your end panel as ICT so this is what it looks like and if you want to start a, a city you just have to click on this start it will get you this prompt this might take some time I think it takes about uh, a few seconds to load in the city and import all the assets necessary to create the city you want and remember this is going to be the most detailed city generator you can ever think of so just give it a few seconds for it to load in that data uh, so that you can start working on the on your city so this is what the city looks like and uh, you start off with this small block and I'm going to go to cycles here to preview what this looks like we start off in this nighttime scene but I'm going to add in a sky texture so that looking at this during daytime now let me use my quick functions add-on I'm go just going to link a sun in here just to change the day of time to something more so since this comes in with a lot of assets you can see how detailed the buildings are you have shops you have street level details how like street lamps even you get this dust or leaves and uh, garbage around the city if you want that uh, but uh, like I said this comes in with a lot of assets so your if your PC is struggling to handle the add-on uh, they give you this proxy mode so that you can switch into that uh, so that you're working with just simple blocks like this uh, this makes it easier to edit the, the city and make changes as you want another thing you could do is if, if you're using cycles you can turn on simplify and limit your texture size uh, this will just make sure that when you are in edit mode with proxy off your viewport will be a little bit faster and more responsive so this city generator comes with a few mods that correspond with vertex mode edge mode and face mode so if you are in vertex mode you can extrude any face that way you can create a new block like uh, this and if you don't like what is on this block so for example uh, if I don't want this building I can just go into face mode and select this face with this neighborhood I can change the story count to make these buildings bigger by just clicking on this and I can use this to increase the height of the building so I've just made a 40 a really really tall building so let me go in and edit that make it something like 10 yeah just like that you can go in vertex mode select a vertex and just move it move it to change the shape of your city if your computer is struggling a bit you can always just change to proxy mode uh, so that you can easily edit your city so I'll go into edit mode and I'll go into vertex mode and just grab this uh, if I want this block to be subdivided all you have to do is just right click subdivide select two edges and subdivide that will add a new road where the vertex is if you want to add street level detail uh, we can go out of proxy mode to edit city 128 and uh, turn off proxy mode so that we can see Five the details photos. of our city how this is going to be rendered now you can see that my textures don't look as detailed because what i've done is went to simplify and changed my texture resolution texture limit to if i bring it up to say something like and that will improve texture detail i'm having you can see now even these building signs are readable if i bring it back to 128 my viewport is going to be more responsive that will also help my computer so that it doesn't run out of gpu but you can see the quality goes down a bit but this is just a viewport rendering when i'm rendering this out i can have the texture limit set to no limit so that i can render all the detail that i want I'm just doing it here so that my viewport is more responsive so with this edge selected you can go to the to the road settings and you can start changing a few things I'm going to go to the benches and add a few benches because I don't see anything I'm going to select this and if I want to add any benches here I can just click assign 
and that will add the benches. If I want to switch them out to something different, I can easily do that as well. You can add, you can go even in the service sections and just uh, assign add services. That is going to be trash, trash bins. Uh, these, yeah, trash bins here. And you can also change the offset, the spacing, and everything else. So this just shows you how much detail you can add in here. And again, if the textures don't look as good, you can always just increase the texture limit. But but I'm, I'm lowering it so that my viewport is responsive while I'm working here. And uh, that way I can even edit without going out of uh, the, without turning on proxy mode because now I can just select an edge. I can pull this and that will change how my city looks. You can see how much detail you're getting on these on this building is just impressive yeah like i said this generator has a ton of features if you want a full tutorial on how to use this generator you can click on this on this youtube link and it will take you to uh, the youtube tutorial or you can just look at the documentation so yeah this is a really amazing generator and uh, with a ton of features a ton of detail yeah so if you want to get it all links are going to be in the description so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video